Hi friends, it's Liz here. Today I'm going to be adding another page in my tiny little journal. I got so much great feedback from all of you with my first posting about it and I guess uh, I'll just be adding pages as I go. Now if you had not seen my previous video, I've decided to use this mini binder as an idea Diaz style um, mini journal where I try different things on the pages. So for example, for this particular page, I wanted to try to use this little piece of vellum that I had left over from a project. And my thought was I wanted to um, add some of the stickers that I have here and make it like a um, you know those dried flowers where you can kind of stick them in between something and you can see how nicely they've dried well i thought i would try that technique with some of these flowers and see how that would turn out so that's what i'll be working on this page for now so grab your journal grab your little project and just sort of enjoy the time with me and let's see what i come up with so when I am doing this voiceover, um, it is still super cold where I am, Ontario, Canada. We've had, when we had that crazy snowfall a week ago or so, the streets were just so packed with snow that the snow crew is still working on taking the snow away from, you know, all the, um, basically the little hills that are made with it. And so it's just been one of those um, moments where, I mean, we are in Canada, we get snow. It just almost seems like they're not really prepared for it, which is so bizarre, but I guess it happens, right? So getting back to this little page here, I wanted to use some of the washi tape from uh, the washi tape shop. I did do an unboxing before and I really, really love their items. New to me, um, a lot of the pieces that they sent, particularly the ones that had like the little petals and that kind of stuff. So I'll be using some of those in this video. Um, if you wanted to watch that unboxing, I will link it below, uh, but I will also try to remember to link the items that I have used from their shop um, in case you're interested in purchasing anything that you see. I do have a discount code for you as well if you're interested. Like I said, I'll link all that below and I'm hoping to remember to put it on my blog. Um, you know, I've been trying to keep up with my blog and it's one of those things that I'm trying to figure out what really needs my attention the most. So I'm gonna ask you, when you have, um, when you look at your social media accounts, which ones do you check on often and what are you on? Like, are you on Instagram? Do you um, have Facebook groups that you are in? Are you more into uh, Pinterest? Or do you actually, um, you know, follow people's blogs? I'm interested in finding out, besides YouTube, of course, because I find YouTube is like my go-to. As soon as I want to figure something out, I'll just research it on YouTube. And it's just so interesting to me how quickly that's become my go-to, you know, kind of outlet to check things out. And so be besides um, my YouTube channel, I'm definitely most active, I would say, on my Instagram and also on my Facebook groups because those I kind of run often. Um, I may not have mentioned them, you know, in a little bit, but I do have um, a Junk Journals Canada group. Um, I will have that link below. Um, one of the fun ones is using your junk journals. That Facebook group is so amazing because um, there's so many postings on how everyone uses their, um, you know, their lovely junk journals. And uh, of course, there's my Facebook page, which um, is the one that I usually post on, you know, at the same time as I make a video or something like that. Or there's sometimes little sneak peeks as well before, um, you know, I have a video. I find that, um, you know, those areas are a little bit quicker for me to work in because it's like a quick post um, versus making an entire video process, even though I truly enjoy it. So here you see me using those little petals. Oh my goodness, I am truly amazed at how putting them all together makes these little flowers. I had no idea before until I received their little, um, their different types of 
floral kit and it's just I'm addicted now I think because I just keep trying to figure out how to make these little flowers look more real and they almost look like dried flowers when you use them and in, in, in your things um, the little uh, um, grabber thing here that I have I always forget what it's called um, I did get that from stationery pal and I have to tell you it is one of those little items that I go to all the time I even use it now as my little um, tool for when I'm using my die cuts and you know the dies themselves sometimes have like little bits of pieces left over I just grab this and poke the little pieces out and it's just such a useful little tool I can't believe I had gone so long without it anyways if you're interested I will link that below as well I'm sure you can find them everywhere but this one the one I'm using is the one from I believe stationery pal okay getting back to these little florals here I know many of you will know what kind of flower this is or it's supposed to be I truly am not great at um, you know the names of the flowers I just love seeing flowers and love having flowers but I don't really know the names so if you know any of the flowers that I've used and um, the names of what they're supposed to be let me know leave a comment below but I love these little ones because they already are a full flower like a full tiny flower and if you put a bunch of them together, it looks like a little bouquet of flowers, which is so incredibly beautiful. So anyways, um, I thought I would make this page very much um, sort of, like I said, like a dried flower look. I'm not sure if that's coming through. And actually at the end, I end up changing it a little bit. So I'll show you that in, you know, when you kind of reach the end, you'll see what I've changed about it because I ended up not really liking how um, the double vellum kind of made it look um, it wasn't very uh, bright it almost took away the colors of the beautiful flowers and so I was trying to figure out you know what to do about it and um, how to kind of change it a little bit but as I said I am loving this tiny little binder um, what I said before is if you've been hesitating you know doing a creative journal try a small one try pages that come out um, use an old planner that has the rings I've been doing that so much with a lot of my journaling and planning of course and it's just so much easier to you know take out a page work on it and put it back in and if for some reason your page doesn't seem to work out you can just add another one however I am trying to keep as many pages as I work on in this journal because it is like a sample of different techniques that I've tried and then I'd like to see how those come out so that's definitely why um why I'm keeping you know the pages that I'm working on in this tiny journal let me know what you think if you enjoy the process I think I might do something to the inside cover I did ask you all before if you thought I should change the cover um, because of the little llamas um, but I'm liking the llamas so maybe I'll just add something to the inside cover and then kind of make that my own um, but if not for now I think it works maybe I'll add a sleeve or something to cover it up we'll see so here's what happened I ended up removing one of the um, covers for it and I just left it like as a single page front to back because you could see it so much better and I actually like how the florals came out so anyways that's what I'm talking about when I'm using this little uh, journal as um, my little ideas journal where I'm trying different techniques. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more um, and leave a comment below and this way I'll know if um, you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, click that notification bell and um, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.